one here, so we're going to do a talk and tidy. Today's subject is about guinea pigs biting or nipping. Generally speaking, they aren't known for biting, but it can happen. So nipping is a communication that guinea pigs will do with one another. It's very normal to see during introductions, to even see just in their daily life. Nipping is a way for one pig to tell the other pig to knock it off or move out of the way. A guinea pig nipping us is also a form of communication. You're going to often find if you have your piggy out for lap time and they give you a little quick nip, they would like to be put down or go back in their cage. I find 100% of the time if they nip me and I put them back in the cage, they had to go pee. So they're telling you that they're uncomfortable and they want to be put back in their cage. So if a guinea pig nips me while I have them out, I always just respect their wishes and put them back. Because I think, you know, that's the only way that they can tell me that they're not having fun on my lap anymore and can you put me back. Now if a guinea pig bites you harder than a nip, so it could draw a little bit of blood or bare minimum pinch and be quite uncomfortable, generally that is because A, they are hurting or B, they are very scared. So a guinea pig might nip if they say they're at the vets and they're getting a sore spot looked at, they might nip the vet because it hurts. So if they're with you and say you're clipping their nails and they nip you, you can guarantee it's because they're nervous and scared. So Raven used to nip me really hard when I was clipping her nails and I know it was because she was terrified. Another time you might get nipped is if you're carrying your pig around. It's natural for guinea pigs being prey animals to not want to be lifted up and carry. So if you're carrying them and they don't feel secure, there's a good chance they're going to nip you. Generally speaking, even when they nip you, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to make you have gushing blood or anything like that. It can be a bit uncomfortable and it might startle you, but you've got to consider why is it happening. So if you're holding your guinea pig, who's normally extremely calm and you're petting them, and they nip you and nip you or even squeak, maybe there's something the matter with them and they're sore and they should go to the vet. If it's out of character, I would always have it checked out. If I had a really friendly pig who all of a sudden starts nipping me, who never does, I would be worried that something's the matter. But if you have a nervous pig who nips you, and that's a normal thing. Unfortunately, hopefully with time and patience, it will get better. I can 100% say for Raisin, she does so much better now. Very, very rarely does she grab my finger when I do nail clipping. And I found just through patience and talking to her that that eases her and calms her down. Okay, so we just had to move locations. So for a guinea pig to actually do a bite that is going to cause you serious injury, most of those come from people putting their hands in during introductions and a guinea pig bites. So if you're ever doing introductions and things are getting a little hairy, put an oven mitt on or use a dustpan or a blanket or towel to throw over the pigs that are having an issue. You never want to stick your hand between two fighting pigs because that is when people are going to get bit for real. So I've seen some pretty nasty injuries before and the pig did not mean to bite you. It's just a very stressful situation going on and when you put your hand there or grab them or go near them, they mistake it for the other pig going after them and they're just defending themselves. So that would be the only time you would ever have a pig bite you to the point where like it's a pretty serious thing. When they nip and bite because they're nervous or scared 
it's not really that big of a deal. So another time you're going to get nipped is if you put your finger in front of their face, you're going to get a little nip, a little sample is what they're going to do to your finger. They might think it smells like food and then just like, say a kid, they're curious about what something is so they'll put it in their mouth and maybe give a little nibble. That happens all the time. So don't be shocked and think, hey, why did a guinea pig bite me? I'm not food. Well, they're just testing it out. So butter pecan would be another pig I have that nips. She'll do that only during um, nail clipping. And it's the same thing as raisin. Like I know it's because she's nervous and she doesn't like it. But it doesn't cause me any pain or anything. It might, it startles me. And it might pinch for a second, but it's no big, but it's no big deal. So, if you have a guinea pig that does bite you, please don't yell at your pig. That's not going to solve the problem. That's going to just startle them and scare them even more. Do not hit your guinea pig. You should never hit any animal or any person. But hitting them, yelling at them is going to only keep them scared and usually generally speaking as I said when they're nipping you it's because they're nervous the best thing you can do is just reassure them by talking to them softly maybe giving them a little treat petting their head just anything to reassure them that there's no reason to be upset or scared some guinea pigs will grow out of their nipping stage. Most probably should. But I'm sure there's pigs out there that that's just part of their personality to be a little bit snarky. So don't be insulted or upset if your guinea pig is a bit nippy with you. Just work with them. Taming takes time. We all have to remember that guinea pigs are prey animals. So they're naturally cautious, nervous, sometimes shy, easily startled, scared. So we have to deal with them very gently. Routine is great for guinea pigs to trust you. So usually if they're nervous for nail clipping, the more you do it, the more they'll get used to it. Or I guess the more they'll tolerate it. Because pecan every once in a while will still grab my finger when I do nail clipping but she's a lot better than she used to be so if you have any questions just leave a comment below and hopefully this helped you just know that everybody has probably at least one pig that's a bit nippy doesn't necessarily mean you're doing anything wrong it just You've got to take some more time with that pig for them to feel comfortable and feel used to you. Maybe do something a little different for how you carry them, how you hold them, how you clip their nails. So yeah, I think that's about all I can think to share with you guys. We will, yes, Hucky, you don't nip, do you? Hucky's yelling on the cage over, so let's go see him. Hi, Huckster. Hi, buddy. Okay, guys, so as I said, leave um, comments or questions down below, and hopefully this helped you guys realize that nipping can be a normal guinea pig thing. It's just them communicating to you and to themselves 